na muvudishi ya ghasani li jilatu. Li jilatu li tsonvengani hata harumu wa libara la Europa. Na harumu wa libara la Europa lilo. The background for uh, Kwasa Kwasa starts, starts with an invitation by the, by the French Cultural Ministry in doing a public arts commission uh, in two islands, La Réunion and Mayotte. And uh, they are both in the Indian Ocean and uh, are French islands. Um, we are there invited to work with uh, three hospitals. So we got that invitation and we went uh, visiting, uh, I think, one and a half year ago in uh, September, August 2014. The commission there is to, is to, try, to uh, try to have the two islands, the, the people from the two islands, to be able to communicate because you are being uh, transported from one island to the other through hospitals when you're sick. Um, so we're there on research and went uh, on both islands and uh, particularly on Mayotte, which is uh, a majority uh, Muslim island uh, has uh, recently become, uh, uh, let's say, a fully uh, member or part of uh, France and the EU. So it's the outermost region of uh, the European Union. And this is out in the Indian Ocean. Just to give a little bit of geographics, it's uh, approximately between uh, Madagascar and Mozambique. <laughs> Na shangi na shiro bavuni na wanda muwe shiwaru mu sisi wazozo zili ne wa 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 haruma zisi wazozo mbili shimoja sha haruma libara la Europa na shimoja kashitsi na wari wa zisi wazizo vai bari I think the production of the movie. Uh, happens ha or happened pretty much like any other production that we do uh, in the sense that it does change quite a while uh, a bit uh, in the phase of doing it in the sense um, you s discover things that you weren't aware of uh, so I would say we had a preconceived idea of how we wanted to do it and that sort of shifted sort of in the production um, and ended up like in a way that we are not usually doing things in the sense that we 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 uh, we choose a very sort of narrative mode for it, um, and perhaps also maybe influenced by the fact that in production while we were there, um, all these things in the Mediterranean happened with the refugee crisis, and also the when, fact when was that sorry uh, that was August September. 2015. So we are there in, in Mayotte and Anshuan and we're filming and all of this is going on and also the refugees from uh, especially Syria sort of reached the Danish borders and started walking on the sort of convoys up on the Danish highways while we were there. Um, so that sort of, you know, I guess sort of spiced things up a little bit uh, mentally, that it was also something, this EU border thing going on in our very sort of homely neighborhoods. Nari, Jali, Amba, Mtojua, Mgi, Haruma, Libera, La Europa, Haovira, Haruma, Ibera, Iyo. Iyo, Mauri, Furswaya, Babu, Bi, Kero, Husiwa. Avasani lauza uviri ibari na inzi airahara. In a way, the movie takes place 8,000 kilometers away from Europe and is specifically somehow relating to the construction of a boat. Um, but also, um, in the process of making, we, we realized that it became very much about Europe and the idea of Europe, and how that idea of Europe somehow, uh, as something you, you think you know, sort of dissolved while sort of being there, uh, and sort of going back to the, the roots of 
even like the name Europe uh, was surprisingly like I didn't know this uh, element, but it's a story of a a woman that comes from sort of modern day Libya and is kind of hijacked or seduced by a Greek god and is taken over the Mediterranean to the shores of Greece, um, which seemed like kind of a very weird and some strange appropriate metaphor for what is going on now, that the name Europe comes from an Arabic woman um, who came on a boat to Greece. Um, it just sort of spiced up sort of these old dusty myths. So we thought it was appropriate to put in the, the story now. Um, there is a very, I guess, like in most cultures, a mythological element relating to the journey with a boat to another world. Europa ika undrumshe wainsi aliban. Aka alatishiwa haruma ibahari ya Greek. Mwezi mungu airi wadzos aka ashkia na waye amtaha. Hajigausa nyombenjeu hamtia mengoni hae waviri haruma ibahari ya shisiwa shakret. Halafu inyombe njeu wini ija irende hade mtu wa handa uwa ya majendro. Na uva moja wazinzi zizopia zivu walizina la mjiviza uo mwanabuni mwarabu dea rungu wa lizina lulu. You can travel from Europe to this island Mayotte, and when you land in the airport, uh, you, you are faced with, uh, first of all, this text message saying now you're in Europe, and there's all the prices for how to text message and all that. And there's a big banner in the airport with a big European flag with all the stars. It's very confusing because you've been traveling for like 15 hours or something. It's like a very long journey. Um, coming from the other side of the island, uh, uh, as, as an illegal immigrant or an immigrant uh, trying to get in that way, uh, it's, um, it's a bit more complicated, of course. I mean, you travel by boat, uh, it's not that long a distance, but it's like it's open sea. Uh, and, and there's a lot of patrol in the area. And it's, uh, it's highly complicated and highly uh, dangerous at the same time, uh, because it's, uh, there's shark and uh, too many people in the boats and all that kind of things. Uh, a lot of the refugees are caught before they reach the shore and then they're sent back. Uh, also the border police confiscate a lot of boats that they are piled up in Mayotte uh, from people who managed to get in. Um, and also I think the complexity of this is also uh, important in terms of the reason why people uh, move away from this place and first of all I mean it's a there's a lot of relations going between the two islands because there's a lot of families who just want to travel and sometimes it's too complicated to go through whatever visa exchange programs uh, to do that. And, and uh, also a lot of people travel because uh, they want to have, be treated if they want to go to the hospital, but also like the very basic, which we kind of, um, is kind of the, the kind of the beauty of the human uh, mind is that we want to improve our situation. We want to move on and do something that is uh, better for families, for our own families, for our own lives. So there's various ways of complex in, uh, 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 ways to get into this, to actually ending up in a boat. But I think foremost uh, it became for me uh, like uh, a very direct smash in the face uh, situation where you need to understand how complex it is. Because people do not see themselves necessarily as refugees on Anjouan. They want to travel to meet uh, friends, family and so on. Some have to travel 
because the hospitals are very bad in uh, Anjouan, the Comoros. So if they are sick, having, let's say, cancer, there's a discussion with the individual, but also his family. Should I take the risk in, uh, in uh, taking this boat, which is a dangerous uh, uh, trip because there's a border, like a Frontex border out there uh, that they have to try to pass. And it normally would take two or three hours. But sometimes we've heard about stories where it takes 25 to 30 hours in a, in a sea that is a pretty, pretty uh, crazy wild. Um, Even though it's very close? Very close, it's just 60, 70 kilometers, which is, uh, you know, nothing. So for me, it uh, became uh, evident that you need to see it all in a very uh, big perspective uh, and see the complexity of it. So the object. Well, I mean, first of all, it was an odd coincidence, and we had decided to make the film long before the actual refugee crisis sort of started happening. And then suddenly we were there, and there was all these images of refugees walking on the Danish highways, plus, of course, the images of the Mediterranean crisis. And, and we were in the Indian Ocean, hanging out with uh, human smugglers and boat builders who make boats for refugees who want to enter the EU, but kind of through a passage that most people don't know, which is this small island between Mozambique and Madagascar. So it was a little like a strange, almost surreal feeling of being in a very close to this issue and then very, very far away also, because you are like 8,000 kilometers away from the Mediterranean, but it's the same border the border of the EU. In cinema terms, it's a very classical sort of trick that uh, um, instead of seeing sort of an aging Danish boy band tell this uh, story of odd story of Europe, we thought it was more interesting having a, another character. And of course, it's narrated and it's written and it's based on stories we heard and interviews we did and things people told us, sort of mashed together. Um, and then I guess also done in very much uh, inspired by sort of local other Danish filmmakers. There's a famous Danish film where you're sort of being hypnotized in the first sequence to, by Max von Sydow. It's called Europe, the film by Lars von Trier to sort of enter Europe. So I don't know, that spoof seems somehow uh, very um, uh, obvious somehow to steal, um, but from another sort of point of view. 
Well, I mean, the starting point for thinking about making this movie was to focus on the boat builder um, and also the boat as such uh, and as a, as a, also as we talked about before, but as this kind of a, um, a, a medium or a, a, a something you can transport yourself into another situation. A lot of the film shots are done with drones uh, and this kind of uh, this idea of freedom which kind of comes when you do filming with uh, from the air you have this kind of your free flowing um, and um, that is very much linked to this idea of uh, escape or you want to change your situation to something else so you actually move out and you're used to the boat in this uh, situation I think a lot of uh, I mean we had a lot of concerns not uh, making this into like kind of a classical documentation, but actually using language of of uh, of uh, from something else, like uh, for more like uh, advertisement or, or uh, another kind of storytelling. Uh, and and uh, the production of the boat is, as I said, like very much following the logic of uh, uh, something you do by hand, uh, but it also has a very refined level. Uh, so it's actually it's and it's a, something beautiful. Um, and then there's the use of it, which is more like the drone shots. Um, and uh, in, in these kind of shots where we, we shoot the actual production of the boat, it's, it's very much focused on the materiality of the boat. And uh, you see the hands producing the boats. Uh, so it also shows that there's a lot of effort. And this, I think, uh, with, with the boat building, there's a lot of effort into going somewhere. Like in uh, other films you may have seen, so you so you cut down a coconut tree and then you start uh, carving. So there are also boats like that, but we chose a specific type of boat through talking to people out there. That has a reference to uh, that they were brought originally from from Japan as an aid a project where someone was taught. So the boat builder was taught by the Japanese to make this boat specifically, and then he then started a business of it. So. So, and then, uh, you know, we, we are artists, so we also think about, you know, how, how does this film, what, what can, every, everyone does it, I know, but of course we have different, you know, perspectives and interests. And uh, with the material we are filming, we are filming a lot of raw, we're filming raw material that we then choose to tell a story in different ways. So there's the film, then there's an installation, then there can be another installation. So we, we allow ourselves to re re react to the context where we also present the film. And it is political. It is trying to show those who do not uh, understand the complexity of the world that it is very complex. And there's an island out there that is called, or is part of the European Union. You need to understand that people out there travel, migrate for different reasons. It's not all because uh, there's someone uh, with a gun in your head. There are many, many reasons. So it is extremely complex. So of course it is also politically motivated in this uh, moment of time to make that story like it is told. But we also allow ourselves to use the material in different ways, depending on the context that we are presenting our work in. And this, I think, this I think is very, a very artistic approach, or at least the kind of artists that we are that we like to also relate to the context. Hopefully a good film, a good artwork, uh, all depends on who you are watching it, at what uh, moment in time you're watching it. So a very good artwork enables you to take that and uh, give it a perspective that is yours. So no, we don't want to tell specifically how you should react or in what way it is political or not. Uh, but I'm just saying that there is of course, a reaction to a political discussion. Basi, wasi wantu teni wanzwani, wafanya vedeti. Now, to a magen room, was he Upashezi Bari? Was he Venga want to her room a liberal Europa? Milauria and Barito Siquari Fungo Risifania, he has the others. Uhu 
ususuya ka uhiwa be ususuya do ulao this particular spot is where the boats take off with the migrants um, so so this is the spot where it happens and these guys who are on the boat they are what is locally known as passers passage providers coyotes or human smugglers whatever you call them so they are this is what they do they smuggle people to Mayotte the EU uh, and these guys who also appear in the film uh, two of them have also been in jail on Mayotte because they were caught and then they were sent back after a year and then they one of them gave up and another one is still doing the, the business so to speak um, so they are in that sense sort of doing what they do usually of course it's like uh, it's staged in the sense that you know these are people that you know helped us produce or recreate a scene that they all know uh, some of the people in the boat have also been to Mayotte on a kwasa kwasa like this and then gone back again so it's it's i guess it's it's not i guess real as such but it's also partly real but then again you can say that every person on Comoros is potentially in a situation where they have to migrate or have to take the boat maybe not migrate but take the boat like the boat builder we are working with is uh, quite sick he has to make a decision Am I uh, going to uh, Madagascar, flying there and so on, or do I want to go to uh, Mayotte? Do I then uh, take one of those boats, take the risk? Uh, we heard of a story uh, of uh, there was a, a car crash close to this place. Five five young guys, uh, very hardly very hard injured. There's no hospital where they can go, so they put them on the boat to go towards Mayotte. Um, so every person on the Comoros is a potential uh, will potentially use this or may have used it. We also met people who've used it and went back and forth and so on because for them it's uh, necessary. They need to visit their family. They need to they take the risk because they there's no good business in in Anjouan, so they need to take that. So they are as I said it's a it's a mix. So some of them have done it before. Some are helping. Some may have to do it tomorrow because their child is very sick. So this is the reality. So everyone is a potential uh, boat user uh, taking that dangerous uh, voyage. I mean, if I would present this as a cue for a film, saying, imagine there's an island in the Indian Ocean and it sort of votes in a referendum kind of way uh, that they, they was a previous French colony and now they want to be French again. Uh, most people would think, ah, it's kind of too far away and you know, that, that's far out, uh, try again. Um, but here it's actually, this is a real setting. It's a real, you know, concrete, political, reality that you know we could just sort of plug into so in that sense we didn't really make anything here it it was reality that somehow in rare opportunities in rare situations sort of crystallizes and almost appears to us as fiction that sort of in puts light on something from our own sort of setting uh, which is the the crisis of migration or whatever you, you call it right now, um, but allowing us somehow to, to look at it from a very distant point of view. So suddenly we're not in Greece or we're not in Italy or Northern Africa. 
but it's, we're in the Indian Ocean, but it's the same, but it's not the same. So it's sort of, it's sort of, a, it's a hyperlink to that specific uh, tensions that is ongoing right now, but it takes it away from its sort of homely geographical prison. It, it, it sort of makes it a, sort of more universal. So that was a, I guess in a way it's a, it's a, it's a gift when you run into situations like that. B, voa, fikra, la ujizisa. Jeli, la polisi na ugojefu wa iziradari zika wakati tos avenga mtumche marabu Europa harimu wa imengo yae katu wa suli harumu wa ibahari ya Grace. Basi, wavu, kawato ka Europa.